everybody. Welcome again to Coffee and Word. Listen, we're going to take just a few minutes today, and I just want to encourage you to be a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible teaches us in both Matthew chapter 28 and Mark 16 that we are to be a part of the Great Commission of God. And that is that we are to proclaim, publish, openly tell, demonstrate to the world the good news that Jesus Christ is their answer, that He is Savior, Lord, and King, and that we're to bring people into a living relationship with Christ. Because when we bring people out of a relationship of sin and death, their lives are transformed and they become people that have victory. They become people that have hope. They become people that are positive changes in their homes and families. And God begins to move in a great way. And it's up to us who have seen that light to begin to be a part of that great commission. And you know, here in 1 Peter chapter 2, the apostle Peter says it in a little different way. And he says it this way, in verses 9 and 10 he goes, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people. I like that. We're God's own special people. And then he says this, that you may proclaim his praises or the show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Notice this, that the apostle Peter is saying to us basically the same thing the Lord Jesus said in his great commission. And that is this, you're a, you're a chosen chosen generation now. God chose you to do something for Him. You're a royal priesthood. That means you can offer up spiritual sacrifices and praises unto God. And you're His own special people who is called out of darkness. That means you're no longer under the power of darkness. You're to live under the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. And He says this, that you may proclaim His praises or show forth His virtues, His praises unto the world. In other words, I'm not to be silent about my I walk with Christ. I'm to let it be seen. I'm to proclaim it. People should not have to guess if I'm a Christian or not. And that doesn't mean we go out and we just bombard people and try to beat them over the head with the gospel. But no, it shows means that we proclaim, we show, we demonstrate, we live this life. We begin to walk in the light and be a witness to others that they can walk in the light too. And here's the final part I want you to look at. He goes on and says in verse 10, "...who once were not a people, but are now the people of God." who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Thank God I've obtained mercy. And if you've made Jesus your Lord, you've obtained mercy too. And you're the people of God. You're a part of God's family. And God is saying to you now, don't be selfish with that. Share it. Let people see it. Proclaim it. Let them see it in your life, your attitudes and actions, and God will bring them in where they can obtain His mercy too. So I challenge you, let's be witnesses for the Lord. Let's let our light shine. Let's live in the light of the life that Christ has given to us, and let others see it so that they might have it too. Amen? As we walk in the Word, it will bring a blessing in our lives. So until next time, I'm praying for you that God's very best will be yours. 